the end of regulation. Maryland and West Virginia tied up at 13. 60 minutes, not enough to decide this one. Four games heavily in favor of the Terps. 155 to 51, they have outscored them, beat them twice last year. Here we go. It's amazing how many college teams put so much emphasis in the overtime, and their offense changes completely when you get in the overtime segment. Maryland gets the football first. And Josh Allen gets nothing on first down. Kevin McClee coming up to make the stop. McClee, a sophomore from Uniontown, Pennsylvania. He just on the road also. He's a hero around here. Nickname is Boo. Coach really like his athleticism, and he showed it there by chasing down Allen. No gain. Second and ten for the Turks here in overtime. Blitz coming, they pick it up, and wide open, right in the middle of the field, they find JoJo Walker. Statham gets him, as he had tackled down at the 17-yard line by Adam Lenort. Well, Joe, Joe Statham's had people around him all day, but he hasn't been sacked this afternoon. When he has time in the pocket, he's pretty good at throwing and completing the ball. Offensive line doing a good job. For Ralph Friedgen and company, now third and two. Josh Allen, tailback behind fullback Maurice Smith. Smith goes in motion to help block for Allen, and he, with second effort, still appears to be short of the first down. There's our famous power G play. Two tight ends, motion to fullback. Bring that guard around for an extra blocker on the strong side. And they are short. So another decision as a West Virginia player is down on the field. For Maryland just a little bit short of the first down. Well within Nick Novak's range. That's Scott Jerko, the former walk-on from right here in Morgantown, West Virginia. Rich Rodriguez has a big affinity for walk-on players. He was one himself here. Certainly was. Came in and uh, sort of an undersized guy, played a lot of special teams, finally got to start as a senior, and uh, gives young men like Scott Jerko the opportunity to walk on, and they really you know, have an opportunity to come out, earn scholarships, and play football. That's where these coaches get most of their satisfaction, gratification when they find a walk-on that rises up and they award him with a scholarship and mom and dad don't have to come out of pocket anymore. <laughs> That's huge. He was, uh, Jerko was awarded a scholarship after his freshman year. Not one Division I-A school recruited him. How about that? Now he's starting at West Virginia. Great story. You just need one team to fall in love with you. Yep, just Give take opportunity. One. And Maryland is going to send out Nick Novak. He missed from 49. With a minute 15 left to go in the fourth quarter that would have given Maryland the lead. This one is from 33. Novak to give the Turks the lead in the first overtime. And he does. Novak very rarely misses two in a row. That one right down the middle from 33 yards out. So Maryland has taken the 16 to 13 lead. It's not over. West Virginia now will get the ball on the 25 and will have an opportunity. If West Virginia scores a touchdown, this game's over. They score a field goal. We go into the second overtime. Hey, Nick Novak, you know, senior leadership that he is. He's like a 4.0 student. This guy is just a <laughs> consummate student athlete. When you look to bring kids into your university, he's one of them. Let's go down to Dave Ryan. Dave. Oh, yeah, Ben, just prior to that kick, Nick Novak joking around with his holder, seemed very relaxed and confident, looking forward to making a big kick there, and he delivered. I sure did, and it's good to see him if he can be that loose. And Marshall taken off on first down, is dragged down from behind. Boy, that's a good tackle by David Holloway, because Marshall had a lot more green in front of him. And David Holloway's been all over the field today, and you've got 10 tackles. You're going to see the ball in the hands of number two, 
in this overtime period because he's a playmaker. If not him, he's going to go vertically down the field to Chris Henry. Picked up five on first down, so now second and five for the Mountaineers. Marshall looks over to get an updated signal. And the play clock still in play. They snap it at about three seconds left, and a big first down run for K.J. Harris inside the 15. Like I said, Pam, you get the ball over Gene Marshall, and he'll hand it off to K.J. Yeah. At least it touched his hands. Two big play guys. Harris piling up the yards. Now 31 carries for 141 yards and the touchdown. First down from the 13. A touchdown wins it for the Mountaineers. Maryland on the blitz. Marshall goes around the right side and he just throws his body into the, into the field and is knocked out of bounds at around the eight-yard line. Picks up five. Did you see K.J. Harris blow somebody up there in the lead blocker for that quarterback draw? Number one, K.J. Harris, now he's done it on the ground all day, but he's protecting his quarterback, leading him around the right side. Harris is a load at 6'2", 245. And Marshall, 47 yards now on the ground. K.J. Harris well over 100, and a terrific block to help spring Marshall. Second and five now from the eight. K.J. Not much there as he is stacked up at the line of scrimmage. You know, Maryland has to be careful. No one's accounting for Steve Marshall on those fake bootlegs. But had he kept the ball, that would have been six points. Henry Scott, though, stacking up K.J. Harris. And now a third and four. Gary Blackney hoping his defense can come up with one more stop. Harris with 142 yards. An average 172 per game because of the big 337 in game one. Yeah, they're bringing the blitz here. You might see him check to an audible. Marshall in the air for the touchdown and the win! Chris Henry catches the pass in the end zone and for the first time since 2000, West Virginia has beaten Maryland. A lot of weights lifted up to that coach's shoulders. Coach Rodriguez, not only a player, the head coach here is alma mater, finally beat the Maryland Terps. And Morgantown is going crazy. They've already taken down the goalposts on both sides. They have these collapsible goalposts now that you can buy so that the students don't rip them up. Oh wow, what a terrific win for West Virginia. So much frustration against this Maryland Terrapin program. They've been beaten handily by them four straight times, including twice last year. Rich Rodriguez, that big monkey's off your back. You finally have beaten Maryland. Not only off of his back, but all these fans from West Virginia country. I know Mike Patrick's jumping in his chair right now. All those West Virginia fans are thrilled as Marshall just zipped this puppy into Henry. Rasheed Marshall, token fake inside, look to his left. He knows he's coming back to the right on a slant route. Chris Henry just sticks his defender on the outside. Again, Chris Henry starting the outside, stems inside. No the ball's coming his way. Game over. That was a perfectly thrown pass from Marshall, who for the first time in his career has defeated Maryland. So the sixth touchdown thrown by Marshall this year, and that's the biggest one. Chris Henry gets it, and West Virginia beats Maryland 19-16. to Coming up next is College Game Day Now, presented by Acura. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more information, log on to ESPN.com. For Dave Ryan and Mike Tomczak, I'm Pam Ward. What an exciting victory. West Virginia finally beats the Terps. The final 19-16 Mountaineers. So long from Morgantown.